Notebook LM is an experimental note-taking app from Google, and it aims to change the way that we interact with and synthesize vast pieces of information in a meaningful way. Now the key difference between Notebook LM and other AI chatbots like ChatGPT is its ability to take information from sources that you give it. So you can upload up to 200,000 words worth of information and it will immediately be able to interact and hold that into its conscious memory. Beyond that, the second key important factor is that it will allow you to see why it is saying something. For example, if you ask a question, it will give you a number of citations so you can directly follow up and check the validity of the information that it's giving you. So this is critical if you are a journalist, a writer, or you're looking to create some body of informational work that needs to have a high degree of truth to it. Notebook LM itself says information overload is a modern day challenge faced by students, professors, knowledge workers, and anyone seeking to extract value from the vast digital universe. Synthesizing pertinent facts and ideas from myriad sources has become a time-consuming, often overwhelming task. Google, the world-renowned technology behemoth, has recognized the issue and launched a groundbreaking solution. Notebook LM. An AI-powered notebook set to revolutionize how we interact with information. I sometimes have an issue with language like this in these PR releases, I mean, terms like groundbreaking, solution, and revolutionize how we interact with information. This is taking a AI large language model to the next level and really allowing you to collaborate with a virtual research assistant. When you upload the documents that are central to your projects, Notebook LM instantly becomes an expert in the information that matters most to you. It shows an example where the user is uploading a number of meeting notes and then it's asking what were the main concerns from the July meeting. The AI is then able to collect and summarize the main issues from that meeting. The true knack here is that it's able to go from information to insight instantly. It gives you a powerful new interface that lets you shift effortlessly from reading to asking questions to writing with an AI thought partner helping you at every turn. Basically, you can collect a number of different sources and then use Notebook LM to transform them into an outlined blog post, business plan, and more. So for example, if you're loosely collecting a series of travel notes from your different experiences, you can upload all of these together and then ask the AI to help synthesize these into a more complete narrative, a, a more finished and polished work so you can take disparate sources and unify them in new and meaningful ways. And the possibilities of this are quite endless. And how I like to imagine this is that it's actually taking someone and giving them real knowledge of your specific circumstances that it can retain. It's not continuously starting again every time you have a conversation with the AR. So let's take a look at how Notebook LM actually works. Once you've gained access to Notebook LM, you'll be able to start using it for your own projects. Now, the first thing you can do is create your own project, or you can explore some of the example notebooks that they've introduced for you to get to grips with the different activities. If you look at one of these, we have the invention of the light bulb. So then it automatically has a number of sources on the left hand side, which you can click on to see in greater detail. Now, what's great about this is that you can collect lots of different sources and have easy access to them all inside of the notebook. From here, we have some interesting topics about light bulbs. And now we can ask questions to Notebook LM about these sources. We can ask it to use this information to create new content. And that's where things get really exciting. So I might ask it to design a short course on the history of light bulbs. And then immediately we will get a overview of a short course that's using citations from the accompanying sources. You can see we've got the history of the light bulb, the early years, ah, oh, the early years of the old bulb, or oh, the old lighty bulby. 
They were the heyday, the heyday, the golden years. Then the commercialization of the light bulb Christ, everything, everything gets commercialized in the end. So what you can do is take a look at the exact citations that have been used in this piece of work, which is available in the bottom left hand corner. And you see these are numbered one through 10. You can click on these and it will automatically come up with the section that is being cited and why it is using that. Now, this is great because one of the biggest problems we have with existing large language models is that they tend to lie. They are dirty liars. And now we have a way to check easily the exact information that's being used. So let's say we actually want to create our own notebook. What you can do is come back to the home of Notebook LM by clicking on the top left hand corner and go to new notebook. You can name this whatever you like. Once you've created it, you'll be inside your notebook and then you can start adding sources. And to do that, you can come on the left hand side, scroll to the bottom and go to add source. From here, we have three options. You can add things directly from your Google Drive. You can upload PDF text documents or you can simply copy and paste text. I'm going to go with copying and pasting text to show you how this works. So I've created a notebook that's going to summarize the weekly AI news for me. And to do that, what I can do is copy an entire article, come into notebook and paste that in. I can then give it a title and insert it. Now you can ask questions about the topics that you've inserted. But what I'm going to do is ask it to write me a video outline for a weekly AI news summary. So what it will do is take all of these articles that I've added in from different topics and it will start to synthesize the most important information into a new concise video outline. So what we have here are a title, an intro, and then the body which goes through each of the articles and summarizes them with the main bullet points, which is great because this is exactly how I like to record my videos is instead of going word for word, I have the information summarized and I get to put it into more natural language as I go through. And so essentially, this has allowed me to quickly create an entire video outline that I'm then ready to record. And this is essentially the beauty of Notebook LM. It's allowing us to work on more complex projects that are to do with taking different pieces of information and putting them together in a meaningful way. Whether that's summarizing weekly AI news, writing a book or blog article, or even putting together a research paper. Notebook LM is a writing companion that goes a step further than the traditional large language models that we've been using. And it's certainly the sign of things to come as we get more domain specific softwares for our use. And you might be concerned about the privacy elements of uploading all of your own personal sources to the system. Well, Google says that your personal data is not used to train Notebook LM. So any private or sensitive information that you have in your sources will stay private unless you choose to share your sources with collaborators. So this gives you complete control and peace of mind whilst using the system. Currently, Notebook LM is only available to those residing in the US and those who are over the age of 18. So some of the limitations around the use of the platform at the moment are that you can only have a maximum of 20 sources and up to 200,000 words. One way to get around the source limitation is to make sure that you're combining any of the sources that have a lower word count and putting these together to make sure that cumulatively you are not exceeding the 200,000 word limit. Notebook LM is making use of the new and exciting Gemini language model released by Google that is purporting to be a major step forward in the evolution of this technology. What's really interesting is that Notebook LM is starting to go further than just do what it is told. It's starting to actually tell you what you could do. And this is a very interesting yet slight difference in how we interact with these models. 
Notebook LM may automatically offer tools to polish or refine your prose or suggest related ideas from your sources based on what you've just written. Now, so this gives us much greater control and experience of how Notebook LM is able to suggest and help us improve. I love this psychological step of the AI now, not just responding to the questions, but suggest without being told. Sometimes to make progress, you need to know what are the right questions to ask. And sometimes you don't even know what other questions to ask. So this where it's taking the initiative is a real step in a technology that's showing the initiative to improve your own processes. And I think this is an indication of where we will be heading with the latest AI tools. So if you'd like to join the waitlist to get access to Notebook LM, you can simply come to the join the waitlist button on the notebooklm.co page and it will take you to a sign up form where you can simply add your name and email to the list. So you might be asking, what is the difference between Notebook LM and other AI chatbots? Well, the thing is, is that it really places an importance on clarifying the truth of the sources that are used in the information inside of your work. So it does this obviously by allowing you to add your own sources, but the other critical way it does this that sets it apart from other is that every answer to your queries comes with a set of citations reporting exactly where the information came from. So users can check the accuracy of its output. Now, this is very important if you're working on any project that needs a high degree of truth. So if you're concerned that you're putting out information that is not correct, then this is a life saver. There are many instances of ChatGBT hallucinating information, that it is creating what it thinks is a sensible answer to a situation. And this can lead you down a very dangerous paths and is one of the main limitations around the existing AI language models. So what's great about this is if you're in the flow of writing and you're wanting to bring in a quote from a different source and you're not exactly sure where it was or what was said, you can simply type in a query and ask for any quotes related to the certain topic. So maybe it's an event. You might be asking for any quotes related to the recent announcement of Google Gemini, for instance. Steve Johnson at Wired spent a while working with Notebook LM, and I particularly appreciate the conflict that he has addressed of how AI tools are going to emerge in the future. He said, Our future will be characterized by a tension between Copilot, AI as collaborator, and autopilot humans as sidekick to AI. The latter is more efficient and cheaper in a narrow labor economic sense, but troublesome in all sorts of ways. And this points to the way that we will start to synthesize with AI. And at what point do we start to lose the ownership of our creative process? And this starts to beg the question of how much liberation do we give the AI within our own process? In many creative and informational domains, the ability to take a lot of influences, sources and inputs and take out a common strata of those to influence a more meaningful discussion is a skill and an approach that takes a lot of ability to synthesize different pieces of information in a meaningful way. And this is what Notebook LM is aiming to achieve. Let me know what you think about this step, this psychological, sociological step in integrating the initiative of AI into our creative processes. Thanks for watching. I'm Samson Voles. Have a delightful day.